Praise be Jesus Christ. I'm up at the camp. I just finished doing a session for the students in my school of reading. If you're in my school of reading, you'll get this session tonight. It takes a long time to upload long videos here at the camp, so you'll have to wait till tonight. Uh, but I wanted to do a short video on one point that I made during the session, and it's the reality of how we are made and what it means. And this is based on this month's book of the month. The Father speaks to his children. These are private revelations uh, given to uh, Mother Eugenia by God the Father. And Mother Eugenia died in 1990, and these messages have been uh, approved by her local bishop. Mother Eugenia reports God the Father saying, Learn to know me better and to love me to the extent that I desire. That is not only as a father, but as your friend and your confidant. Why are you so surprised by what I am saying? Did I not create you in my image? I did this so that you should find nothing strange when you talk on familiar terms with your father your Creator and your God. For you have become the children of my fatherly and divine love through my merciful goodness. Some people say, well, what does it mean to be made in the image of God? Well, there's a lot of answers to that question, but one of them is what's being highlighted here. It's not strange for us to commune with God the Father. We were made that way. We can talk to God the Father as a child talks, talks to his Father. That's how we're made. And it's, it's a silly analogy. It's imperfect, but it's kind of like Honda parts fit on Honda cars. BMW parts fit perfectly on a BMW car. They're made that way. And so too we, when we're in the presence of the Father, because we're made in His image, there's a perfect fit. It's not strange for us to commune with, to speak with, to pray to our Father in Heaven. That's how we're made. In Matthew chapter 6, our Lord Jesus, He commands us. He says, when you pray, go into your room and shut the door and pray to your Father who is in secret. And your Father who is in secret will reward you. And so I'm hoping that people, by uh, looking at uh, Mother Eugenia's uh, private revelations on God the Father, and also, obviously, more importantly, looking at the scriptures that reveal the love of the Father, will come to discover that they have an Abba, Daddy, a Father in Heaven, with whom they can commune and love and, and, and be close with, be intimate with, while always recognizing the infinite glory, majesty, and might of the all-holy uh, God. Viva Cristo Re!